Good morning, my name is Kim Carlisle and we live at Sheridan, Indiana and today's date is Thursday, May 21st, 2020 and welcome to our Thursday segment which is Half Price Thursday. Everything you see that we're going to show you on a table outside of our room is going to be half price. It'll have a price marked on it. I'll go through each piece with you so you might get a pencil and paper handy in case you see something you like. You can send us an email or send us a text and we will sell it to you. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle and our email address is the letter K, C-A-R-L-I-S-L at A-T-T -T dot N-E-T. Please notice there's no E on the end of Carlisle on the email address. So we pick out select pieces out of this showroom that we're gonna have half price this week. So I'll give you a little preview on the table and then we'll go through each item. None of these pieces we're gonna be showing you today have been on our half price table before. Every week it will be, be entirely new pieces from the week before. First piece we have is a beaded panel and sunburst, high footed comport, no damage on it. Price on it was $85. Very good shape. Hard to find piece of beaded panel and sunburst. As you notice the bottom's got a big sunburst in it. Next item is a crystal tulip vase, signed in the center of the bottom. Price is $110. Waverly Seahorse Handle Candy Jar, and it has a Narcissus cutting on it. It's priced $85, has the seahorse handles, good, good condition. And to go with that item, we have a Waverly Two-Handled Ice Bucket, and it also has a Narcissus cutting on it. Priced $85. Whirlpool or Provincial Cruet Original Stopper, price $25, and it's been cleaned inside so there's absolutely no cloud at all. Revere Cup and Saucer in Flamingo, the set is priced $5, there's no damage. Flat Panel Shaving Mug. It's priced $15, and it does have some roughness and little nicks on some corners on the bottom. Marked inside the center of the bottom. Wing scroll, covered little trinket box, marked $12 and a half. And this is one of those little boxes, in my opinion, it's not Heisey, but it seems the Heisey collectors buy them anyway. Little flat panel, stack, creamer, Sugar and butter, butter pats in good condition, $25. There is slight roughness on the bottom of the creamer on this ground edge that fits down inside the sugar bowl. Have a quater, creamer, and sugar with real nice little silver overlay. Each piece is marked inside the middle of the bottom. And it's priced $45 for the pair. Have a fancy loop, saucer champagne, no damage on it whatsoever, price $20. Have a Trillion Orchid Etch Wine, it's priced $18. And we also have a Trillion Orchid Etch Claret, and that's priced $30. Rooster Head Cocktail, and it is marked with the me on it, acid etch with the me. This goes in the set where there's a me, a you, and then there's a cocktail shaker that has the word us on it, and it's priced $45. Of course, that's just $22.50 after discount. 
Here's an original Heise bell that was made out of a claret. What's unusual about this, usually these bells are made out of a Jamestown stem, and this one's made out of a Killenworth stem, and it's marked right inside the constriction. An original top and everything on it. Priced $20. Seems to be a popular item. It's a flat panel marmalade and the lid. The lid has a cutting and so does the base marked in the center of the bottom. Price $55. Have three mayonnaise ladles. They're all marked with the diamond H. Two in flamingo. They're priced $35 a piece. The flamingo, the Sahara one, the sticker fell off. The Sahara one's the hardest one to find in these, and it's marked $65. Have a Tudor grapefruit in marigold. This piece was never made with a lid on it, so we know this was a, it's a grapefruit. It's priced $40, slight wear to it. Good piece of marigold to find. Same, same item in Hawthorne, price $35, marked in the center of the bottom. And the Marigold one's also marked in the center of the bottom. Oak Leaf Canda Holders, Flamingo, price $45 for the pair. Of course, with Canda Holders, you always want to compare the bases to see if they're the same size. And on these, the bases are not the same size. One base is just a little bit smaller than the other base, which probably means it's probably been repaired a little bit. One of them has. Last week we had a doorknob. This week we have another doorknob. This one's $65. It's very, very slight roughness where they've ground the top of this flat down, but this one has the part of the brass still on it. Last week's it was a plain one. A Tudor crit, it's clean on the inside, no damage on the stopper, original stopper to it, is priced $25. Have a peerless 20 and a half inch swung vase marked in the center of the bottom. It's got the pleats on the bottom, so you know it's peerless, and it is marked in the center if you look down through the top, and it's priced $75. Tudor food jelly, and it's marked, and it's priced $35. A single Trident candle holder, if you need one, this is the one you want to buy. It's only going to be $5 after the discount. A little bit hard to find piece and twist flamingo, three-part relish, and it's priced $22.50. Marked in the center of the bottom, no damage on it. Single pinwheel candle holder in Hawthorne. It's priced thirty dollars. Coarse rib mustard and lid marked inside the bottom. This piece was actually left the Heise factory as a crystal piece of glass. Another company has bought it, reheated it, sprayed on this color, and then uh, they sold it themselves. It's priced thirty-five dollars. There are several pieces of coarse rib that this com company put that effect on there. Real confusing with Marigold, the color. Have a Crystallite Swan Handle Water Pitcher. This one has the eye slip on it. Some of them are completely open. On the bottom, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a flat flake missing off the bottom. A shallow flake missing right there. No other damage on it. It is marked in the center of the bottom. It's priced $165. We have two Victorian, I believe these are going to be clarets. They measure four and a half inches tall. Two of them for $5. And this one has a very minute nick right there to the left of the price sticker. You get both of them for $5. Both of them for $2.50, excuse me, after the discount. 
have a Mars single candle holder, moon gleam with a nice little wheel cutting that's left gray on it. And it's priced $22.50. It's got the gray cutting around the top and around the foot. Yeoman Sugar Bowl cover, diamond optic. It's in good condition, signed in the middle of the bottom. In Sahara. Have a Pluto candle holder in Flamingo, and it's priced $18. Sometimes people get the Pluto and the Mars confused. The Mars is in Moon Gleam, it's got a round top. The Pluto's got this six sided top, and then the stems are different. Still confusing. Have a Yeoman two-handled jelly with diamond optic and has Heise's Empress etching on it. In Flamingo. That's price $18. Here's just a bar tumbler. It is marked Heise on the bottom. Not sure what pattern it is. It's a little wider than most bar tumblers. Priced only $5. No damage on it. Have a nice salad bowl. It's got a pretty wheel cutting on it. Part of it's been polished to clear. It's got a little beading around the top. It's got a full ground bottom on it with a star cut in the bottom of it. A little bit of wear on the inside. And it's priced $30. And it's got the large diamond H in the center of the bottom of it. Which means the mold was made prior to the 1920s. Have a, have a Victorian decanter. This one has a short stopper. Sometimes these with the short stopper were made to put in a tantalus set where it'd have a bar coming over the top that would lock in place, keep the kids out of your liquor. Stopper's in good condition. The inside's been cleaned so there's no cloud or anything in it. And it's priced $110. Have a Yeoman Sugar Bowl in Ipswich. The Sugar Bowl still has a sticker on it. It's priced 15 for the pair, which will be 750 for the pair after it's over with. The creamer has lots of wear on it. You see the bottom of it? It looks almost frosted, it has so much wear. And these are rough on these points coming out of it too. The creamer does have heavy use. Nice Sugar Bowl, both, both pieces, 750. Have a Puritan, I believe it's a brandy, price $3. Old Queen Anne single light candle holder. It's got orchid etching around the base. It's priced $95. Have Queen Anne cups and saucers. Both have orchid etch on them. Both are marked. We have two, four, have eight sets and each set is twenty dollars or ten dollars each set after the discount no damage on them and to go along with the rest of the orchid we have three shrimp icers only two have the inserts and each one of them has some little flakes inside the edge of all three of the icers and the inserts all have little chips on them too and they are priced $28 a piece. So, so you can get two with the inserts or one without the insert, but they're all $28 a piece. And the last item we have is a Trident candle holder, price $65 for the pair. They're in Sahara. And of course, you want to check the size of the bases. The size of the bases are exactly the same size. So you know one of them's been repaired. So that includes our video for today. You've got our email address. If you've talked to us in the past, you've got our phone number. You can text us or you can call us. And hope to see you next week for another edition of Half Price Thursday. Thank you very much.